All right. Um, the market's going to open in about 15 minutes. I just wanted to do a little live sesh piece review of what I'm looking at. So here we have the NASDAQ. Okay, last night, uh, rewind. Yesterday, oh, on the open, we got a big push, right? This this yellow line kind of was um, the previous high, sort of. Um, this is adjusted for today already, so it's not quite exact. But yesterday, we got the big push up. It rejected here, and it rolled over all the way down to here. So all the way until around 11 o'clock, we had a lot of selling pressure. I kind of saw this comment. I, kind of, I called it out in the Discord, right? Um, the the S and P five hundred was didn't make that push up at all. It had the initial downside momentum, and then it just kept rolling over, right? So I figured everything stocks, most stocks were were red on the day. So I felt that this futures was lagging. So if I were gonna trade the Nasdaq, I did a little quick trade on it in my top step, but it was just like uh, the move from here to here. <sighs> You know, like a little little move, uh, but because I did so well in the uh, the S and P, that I decided to. Uh, sorry, I keep yawning. Um, I decided not to trade this. Right, you know, if I'm going to do well on one, and I'm not going to give it back in the other. So um, for today, since yesterday at eleven, it's been on a run up. We ran all the way up to the end of the day, and Instead of opening the day, uh, closing the day red, I'm thinking that the Nasdaq had a slight gain right here, so it opened down here and it ended up closing down here. So all the negative it had throughout the day, it gave got back and then a little bit. So it's been rallying overnight since the all time highs are just keep being printed, keep being printed. Um, last night around. Two in the morning is usually when the um, European session opens in the Forex community. So it's probably very similar in the futures that the Europeans are starting to wake up, starting to get to work, and they see that the tech futures are going to be running today. So um, the strategy for this going forward is to possibly see another rejection, not maybe as strong as this, but... The close was down here, and now we're going to open with a gap, which is going to be all the way up here. So I'm going to look for maybe some pullback, but that's why I watch price action for the first five minutes or so to see what's going on. If I'm going to trade the NASDAQ, I'm going to see what kind of price action this is going to give me off the open. Um, so we're going to get out of that, and we're going to go into the S&P. So the S&P is not as strong, right? You see that yesterday, immediately on the open, it sold off. So I, I took that the sell from here all the way down to here made decent decent trade i only got stopped out here because i was trailing it tight but i re-entered on the little pullback there and i took another short so i ended up catching a lot of that move there down to the overnight load um could have caught caught this whole thing but once i hit certain targets on the day i don't keep trading if I were to have held it and let it run out, then it would have been good, right? But so we'll see. You know, we got this big push down yesterday. And at the same time, around 11 o'clock, you got that rejection. People started to buy. We hit this resistance here, which was the base of this breakdown. And now that it acted as resistance, it pulled back again. So now the overnight low is. A good place to be looking, even though this is not the previous day close. I have to update that one fourteen fifteen. So I can show you how I change it. I go to the candle, the fifteen hundred candle. I look up up here. It's going to say C, and that's the close. So previous day close was forty three thirty twenty five. So all I do is I do that forty three thirty point two five. And so yesterday's close was a bit a ways away from here as well. So I'm potentially looking, 
now that I, I'm looking at this chart a little bit more, if you can get a breakdown of 4337, 4336, 75, if you could break this down, you're going to take it down to this previous day close. It's just going to happen. Um, but this VWAP is acting as support here. This whole supply and demand area is acting as support. So you could see this on the open run up to this high again. Um, if we break this all-time high, I don't know where. I mean, we, we still have till that 43.70, right, when I was doing my Fibonacci's a few a week ago or two weeks ago when I was saying if it breaks all time highs, you don't have targets, right? So you have those those Fibonacci extensions. I think a lot of people still use those. So I think that 4370 is still in play if we do break through that all time high. You got to watch some of these stocks too, right? So if you go to, let's see here, not charts. Well, well you we can go with the charts. Some A lot of these are green on the pre pre-market. You go to the scan, make the scan for some of my options plays. Potentially, Apple's up. Um, you know, we also use this scanner here. Give me a second. Uh, I'm going to use the wish one. And the scanner. So we scan here. Well, Amazon, Let's see percent change. These are the pre-market movers. Amazon, Palo Alto Networks, Scoop, DocuSign. So technology's up. New egg. You can see the the sectors here: technology, retail, commercial. But a lot of the technology stocks are up, so that's why that Nasdaq is pushing up higher before the market. Um, I'm at some manufacturing, some finance, but I don't see a ton of big names besides Amazon, right? And Amazon's in a world of its own. So that's telling me that the NASDAQ is going to lead and the S&P 500 is not going to quite be there with that, that pressure up to the upside. So I could see that sell side move to the close, previous day close, and then, then push through the all-time highs after the stock's open, but we'll see. Um, gonna give it my best. Uh, I do like to use this chart as well. This is my, oh, it's not coming across. This is my uh, value area chart. This one here on the right only shows when the market's open. so. I was using this yesterday for targets. Um, my initial target was that 22, 26, 22. So tw the reason it was around the 26, it was the previous day's value area low. And then it had a couple confluence areas with the, the other charts. So that was a big help. I did see this gap and I expected a potential dip down to 43.12 to close this gap here. But... I didn't make that whole play. Um, once momentum sort of slowed down a little tiny bit, I took my decent day and and did other things. So, um, but it did. It closed the gap, and then as soon as it closed the gap, bounced off of the two days ago value area low and has run up now. So, um, we'll see how this plays out. Like I said, um, we are right now sitting at forty three forty. So we are just above yesterday's close, but still within the large value area. So we're not opening too far outside of value. Um, we are still within other days' value areas. A lot of times you'll see us open up above here or down below here and not in value. So um, it is in its own sense at yesterday's point of control, today's point of control, so who knows? Right now, uh, we're kind of just sitting at a, a level where it's just kind of undecided. It does have upside momentum, but a lot of times the overnight doesn't make a difference with what's going to happen with the rest of the day. Um, 
these are my options that I got going on. Netflix is doing pretty well. It's up $889.50. I'm looking for this to be a pretty big gain. These are all expiring June 2022. Dropbox, this is a shorter term play. Like I said, I called it out. Uh, I would like this to be a thousand, but if I see momentum slow down, I'm gonna take profits beforehand, probably around five, six hundred bucks. Uh, same with the um, Salesforce. It's down pretty good right now at a hundred, but it's up pre market, so it should give me some moves. But we have five minutes till the open. Naked and CVS are just plugging along their long term stock holds. SOS is also just shit in the bed. But like I said, January 22, so it has some time. And Jets. Jets is an airline ETF. It's down 700. I'm not too worried about it. It is for May of 2022. So I need to see the airline industry start to pick up with their earnings and stuff like that. And this should jump up to this $30 level with not not an issue that's why i'm not really too concerned 7 7 15 is not not a concern that's why i've dipped down below 40 again but only because there's been some delta variant nonsense once that all that goes away the airline industry should pick right back up also i've been flying a lot and there's no issues i mean the airports are all full so Um, I will show you what I'm doing as the market goes. Uh, that's pretty much my pre-market prep for the, for the most part. I mean, I'm, I'm a little tired today, so I'm kind of just going to see where everything plays out. Um, the S and P's are pushing up. So a lot of times from my little experience, I will see Things set themselves up in the in the pre and the overnight for opposite moves. So sometimes you'll see this thing, right? This is going to push up to the top of this range here, and people will be quick. They'll they're on, they'll enter pre market and they'll try and buy it back up up to expecting a big move. I will do that sometimes, only if I really do expect this to be a big move to the upside for some other fundamental reason. But to me. You know, they're going to push up to that 43, 43 level potentially. Maybe they'll even push it above the overnight high just for a second. And then they're going to try and rip it back down. That's what the banks do. Like I said in a previous video, the the um, market makers, so the people who are behind the scenes, they know where orders are, right? And they just kind of manipulate the markets to how they feel they're going to make the most money for their people. The um, big banks, like I said, there's um, another thing with, what do you call it? Oh, gold is kind of selling off. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So things like Robinhood, Webull, any, any brokerage that's offering zero commissions, it's for a reason. I said that right in the past. It's because every time you click buy or sell and you set stops and you have orders out, they sell that data instantly to the other clearing houses. So people who have $1,000 a month, Bloomberg terminals or more than a thousand dollars a month. Bloomberg terminals. They can see orders, where they're sitting, how many there are. See, we can, right? Right. We have um, some little indicators of where some orders are. Like uh, once this market opens and this starts moving around a lot, you can start. You'll start seeing like volume bars and how many orders, but you don't know which way those orders are going. Uh, they do. So you just kind of have to ride with it. Uh, 
like I said, 42, 42, 43, 42, 42, 3, 43. That's where I expect it to be right as market opens. And it's pretty much right there. So we're at the top of the range. On market open, like I said, I don't usually try not to trade the first five minutes. But if I see some price action, I definitely don't trade the first minute, right? And I try to have that first candle close. But yesterday, I saw a really good opportunity. So I took it right at probably four or five minutes. Just, and the market is now open. So you can see things aren't jumping around like wild. I have my top step open in the other window, and I have a little more information on it. Um, you do see a, a little bit more chop, a little more movement going on here than you would here. So this is 43, 43.75. Like I said, I expected to push here, and there's a good chance it's going to sell again. Gold is selling off pretty good, which is interesting. So it broke below that structure level and it's kind of holding there. It's below the VWAP. There's a chance that gold is breaking this little upward channel here that it has created. So, you know, gold down to 1796 is a decent play potential. Uh, NASDAQ. NASDAQ likes to whip me around a lot. So, see, there we go. We pushed through the all time high, right? On this candle, baited some people in up through 14,880. And now we're kind of, we're still sitting though in this little rising pattern here. So I need to see this break and hold below the overnight high to even consider shorting it. Um, da, 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 da. This is just sitting here. See, so normally I, I only keep these levels here, right? And I'm going to take this overnight high, previous day high, whatever. I don't care what it is. Then I just move it to where I, I like to see the price break. Because I already have two levels that are in a very similar spot. So there's a lot of resistance in that level. I want to see it break through here, hold below the view app. I mean... There's not a lot of room down to the previous day close, but it's still an oh, okay move to try and catch risk to reward wise. The likelihood of it throw, running through that all time high is not there only because it just seems a little slow, but it always can. So, so drop box. Doing all right, let's just analyze. My Dropbox calls thirty thirty five. Okay. So see, we're pushing back up, 43, 43. I still don't believe it. That candle has pushed all the way up and all the way down and then all the way back up again. It's not picking a direction for me yet. Gold has stagnated. Oil, we're looking at oil, is on the rise. Oil sold off. All from six o'clock this morning, all the way down from 74 to 73. And now it's trying to push back up, although it is at a resistance level at 73, 94, 74 flat.
If I can get a rejection at 43.45, I'm going to look to take it short, potentially. But if it doesn't show me any rejection, I'm going to take it long. And all I would do is look for the rejection. And my stops would be pretty tight, 43, 48, 75. If it does break out, though, right now, I'm not too convinced that it's a, not a false breakout. There's a rejection going on, so I'm going to sell the yes on my... Order filled. I'm sell it. Like I said, and what's the worst thing that happens? 100 bucks, 200 bucks. There's a chance it fakes us out right now and runs the highs, but I don't see it. I think it, we may actually, the reason, I mean, I sold it now. Like I said, my mental stop is up here. I think we possibly will catch above 4347 now. And then we're going to roll over just so they're going to try and pump stops. They're going to look to get people who place their stops out. So I'm going to place my stop a little further out just for safety issues. 4355. And yeah, I'm not moving as I feel. I'm not looking for a crazy huge move to the downside. I do think it will revert to at least the VWAP, potentially the previous day close. And then if it does break the previous day close, then there's a chance it's rolling all the way over to the overnight low, which would be nice, 43.25. So you can see kind of like the P&Ls on the side here, 43.25, if it decided to roll over to that level. We're looking at 1,000, 950. It's just on one contract. If I pull this side over, you really won't see it, but um, I'll show you what happens with top step at the end of the day. But all these trades are very similar to this, if not exactly the same. So you see, like, it is pushing up. There's a decent amount of volume, but a lot of this volume, this big blue bar, was uh, a downside move down here, too. We saw it on the open. It pushed up and then pushed back down. This isn't, like, an explosive move, right? So there is a, a rejection, potentially. There is a decent sized sell order at 43.50 that I can see on my other chart. So look for that to potentially get up to 43.50 and then sell down. Let's see what this other value area chart looks like. So the top of that value area is from the previous day, 43, 47, 53. A lot of times what will happen, it'll take out some of these orders from yesterday. That's what these are. This is just bunches of orders. And that's the white lines are usually where the majority of the orders are sitting. So 43, 40 is today's point of control. Yesterday's point of control, 43, 41. 
the top of this rejection. Like, right, we have structure here. We have the bottom of his own from two days ago. And then we also have yesterday. We opened up outside of this value area, right? So we price likes to be in value. 43.38, 43.40. And if it does push back down, we want to try and close that gap. 43.35, 43.44. Okay. I'm just patient with this right now. So we're at the top of that value area. Trading is boring if you're doing it correctly. Being down some is understandable. I'm not panicking or anything like that. And even if I do lose, and if right now it decides to shoot the 4330, 4355, I won't be that mad because there's another trade in there somewhere. And I'll make it back. NASDAQ is selling pretty good, huh? Pretty good on that open call. I just haven't had a lot of luck on the NASDAQ. See, there we go. You had that little wick above, trap some people above 14880, like I said, and then selling off. It's got to probably get to that previous day close. I want to see the NASDAQ. lead today i wanted to lead me down and pull the s&ps down with it because i'm in the s&p trade right now so it has pushed below the vwap on the five minute i can see but it's pulling back above it and kind of holding it um the s&p is still just sitting right there on that all-time high so this is the red candle Gold rejected that serious support, but it is pushing down. And I'm still in this S&P trade, which is now pushing down towards my favor here. Down 50. So this is a 30 minute chart. There we go. Starting to push into green territory. You just gotta be patient with the rejections. I got in where I expected it to reject. I set my stops in a safe place where they're not going to manipulate and stop me out. I'm going to leave this on the five minute just so I can get a feel. See, look at that big five minute. Don't get in on that first red one. I got in at the very last minute or last second of the green. So I didn't technically enter, enter on this first one. But that's the manipulation on the open. They're trying to trap some people, and hopefully we can catch this run down to where I expect it. I'm hoping to push through that previous day high at 43.37, down to 43.25. If I can catch that move, today will be a good day. Especially on my top step. Although yesterday's target was that 43.26 level, we are still in a rising channel, though. Kind of not on the 30 minute. Kind of huge. And that. And that's actually starting to push up, but there is a big sell order at 14.850. So, chance that it won't break that. I'm going to leave this one on 30. kind of hovering around that entry.
I want it to hold below the overnight high. Sitting right at the value area high. 43.30. Forty three forty, I'm sorry. Is point of control. Apparently Amazon is pumping. NASDAQ is trying to Break down again through the view app. It's having a hard time. Just waiting for that overnight high to hold. It's acting as support here, which is not too great for my position, but still see some of these sellers here coming into play. And NASDAQ starting to lead the way with some cells. So hopefully the S&Ps do follow. Starting to have a nice little bounce. That's probably going to reject soon at the eighteen or seven. I think it's just having a hard time taking out all those previous orders. And I got to see what's going on with this. I'm going to find where it is. I always lose it. Here it is. Nope. Hard to watch. There we go. Got a lot of green going on. So, you know, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon is probably the only reason this is pushing up. But a lot of these other ones are neutral, red, Tesla's red. This is each sector of the of the uh, S&P 500 here. 
right? Top 500 companies. It's a neutral color, right? Big time green orders, big time green orders here. We'll see. If it decides it wants to go up, it wants to go up. It's holding above the previous day value, so I'm just kind of monitoring it now. 43, 48. There we go. Come on. I need this red candle to actually be some sort of substance here and hold and not dip back above. Sell gold. I just want to leave it on for a second. I'm just going to focus on this S and P trade for today. There are plays to be had. NASDAQ is putting in a uh, double bottom here, pushing through some structure. It could get some momentum actually also down, right? This is a 30 minute chart, but if you see it on the five, I mean, you could even see it here. This is a strong resistance. Previous day high, previous day close. Those are the targets before you start to look for a push back up. Uh, let me show you if I'm in. It's going to push up that. This I just wanted to hold down here below the overnight high. This is a patience trade. 4340 is the first number to look to see where it's going to, what it's going to do at. Now that a lot of the manipulation is, it's not done, <laughs> but I'm going to move my stops a little bit more manageable because I don't want to lose that crazy number. So 41, 52 is probably fine. Even actually 51. That's really where I prefer it. Now I'm going to start trailing it. If I do start to catch a decent move, I'd need that NASDAQ to break that low. If it does, the s and should follow. I right, dig it down below 43.40. Um, I'm putting it right here. Just above the, uh, the high, 43.48. Gonna move this stop here. Freeze your fine. Okay. NASDAQ is starting to get that holding that pressure. This purple line is gonna be a key point of resistance going forward. I'm trying to be a little more patient. You could snatch off this $125 profit here if you really wanted to, but that's not the name of the game. One trade would be a great day, right? <laughs> if you could just be patient enough to let the trade do what it, you think it's going to do, what your thesis says how it's going to go with your risk tolerance and your risk to reward ratio and percentage targets and all that stuff. So also every trade you put on is commissioned on these futures. 
So for me to get in, I need to get out seven dollars and change. So per contract. So less trades, the better. Then you get less eaten up by commission. I could make five hundred and make five, six trades, and that eats up fifty bucks, sixty bucks. So I'm just looking to catch one, and done. Right. So this this screen here, I only have one contract on. So that's what the profit and loss is on the top step funded trader. I have $150,000 worth of buying power. So I trade five contracts and that number right now is 750. So just on a small move, right? That's just the power of having more money and being able to compound your, your growth. Um, and NASDAQ set up for a good short, but I'm not going to fuck with it because I'm already doing okay with this. Yes, trade. Patience, patience, patience. 4340 is still that point where I'm going to either see if it's going to reject hard. I mean, we are do starting to get this doji candle. That's what this is called, a doji. It's got no direction. Oop. It's got a positive direction right now. You want to do that? Price action is upwards. So this did break the downtrend. This is sort of holding that channel at 4341. Still think we have a good chance if we could hold that overnight high to push down. The market's just super extended to the upside. How they've been, they just need to breathe. This isn't me thinking that the market's going to crash or anything, but it's just a matter of playing where the orders are. That's all. Play the game of follow the big money. This is a really good move. The volume was okay there. Uh, we're getting this little push to the upside, but there's not a lot of volume. So it's still telling me that it wants to push lower. Um, 43.42 here. These candles show me some. This is the momentum, right? Boom, boom. You're going to look for something like this, then some candle here. And then you look to, if you wanted to, like, say you missed this move here. You get this big candle here, you get the pullback, and then you enter on the next red. Boom. Come down here, enter there, and then you get this whole move down. So, Not that you have to be late to the party, but those are the kinds of things you can look for if you are still trying to catch a little bit of a move. Mm -mm. NASDAQ's pushing down. The VWAP is acting as resistance now. So I'll look for that SP to follow like yesterday. The SP led yesterday. Today it seems like the NASDAQ is leading. Because I sure as hell don't think the, the SP is leading to the upside. 30 minute candle is red, it's neutral, actually. Gold, gold. This is my day. Sometimes this move comes all the way down, 10 minutes, and I'm done. Sometimes it could sit in this level for hours. 
I like being at the charts though, so it doesn't bother me much. I'm just gonna be patient. Video might be boring to watch with this kind of price action, but I'm hoping that it will show you how to be patient and how things play out. Right, we so we moved the stops down to that above that all time high. If it breaks through, it breaks through. And I prefer it not to, obviously, but I, I moved it down because I thought that initial manipulation would have been bigger. Trying to get some stops just above the high. They didn't take it there yet. So um, it does to me show that it wants to get short also, but we'll see. You could also see if this, I don't know how it's going to be, but if it makes three or four more candles like this, look for that base and look for it to break that base. Another way to enter if you're a little later to the party. So if we do, <clears throat> so the trade management aspect of this, if I do get to 43.40 right here, obviously it's an important level. I said it before I looked at the, this, it wasn't there yet, but it's there now, right? The view app is sitting volume weighted average price is sitting at this level. I will start to manage my position around this level. If I could get a break down below it, and then I can start to see some using it as resistance instead of support. This is going to start to act like support, right? It's going to start to sit on top of it. But if we can break through hard, I'm going to trail my stops down, likely to break even if it breaks through it. If it starts to sit on it, I'm leaving my stops where they are. And I'm going to wait, give it some time to try and push through those that purple line. And then if I could get it to push through and then it uses it as, as, as a resistance, then I'll try my stops down even further and start to use some of the structure of the candles to just trail my stop down and try and catch as much of this move as I possibly can um, to all the way to 25, right? If I could catch this move down to 25, that'd be a fucking fantastic day. Um, that means that this previous day high, that acted as support overnight, uh, is not going to do his thing, right? So this big move yesterday to the downside, this whole day after, whole night after, it, you, it recovered it. However, this is just annoying me. And we pulled all the way down, we recovered all of it, and now we're kind of just grinding through it. There's a good chance we pull back to the start of that selling. That's a support there. And there has been support there in the past. So you can call this is support, right? So that's my key, key, key level right now. This is not the previous day high. This is, remember I moved it. So we're looking to see if we can get some of this volume to push us to the downside. 43.25, 43.05 is yesterday's low. I don't know if we're going to be able to push to that level. And, I, and I, even if we do, I don't think we're going to catch it, to be honest, because we'll probably be up. But if we can break that high, that level, this red line, that's a huge support. Huge. Even though you got these wicks here, I think it, you know you can dip below these. But if I can break this, I'm going to be set. So I'm up at... At the moment, the NASDAQ just broke through the bottom. So we're going to look to see this S&P follow. It's sitting, the 30 minutes sitting on the VU app. We're at that 40. Right now, we broke through it. Okay? We broke through it. I am hesitant to totally move my stop down to 43, 44 at the moment, right? Because it's just kind of tickling me. It's down below it. I want it to hold below it. There's a difference between holding below it and tickling it, right? This was, come right, it came down and didn't really hold the, I want a close, something like this, before I can actually pull my stops down, right? Um, NASDAQ is selling off real hard, so I'm 
I'm still seeing this down, hopefully to the previous day close, and then we can really just start to super tight manage this stuff. On my 43. Top step is a little different with my management only because I am trying to get funded by them and it's a bit different with the money stuff. But my money management is the same concept with how I want the price to move, how I'm looking at it and everything like that. All right, so now we've got a solid solid candle. We're gonna put this to break even. Okay. Now we've broken down through that level that I expected to break down through. If we could hold it on this candle, this stop is gonna get put pretty far down, probably just above that 4340 level. But I need this five minute candle to close down below here. It's not really having that yet. <laughs> like I said, top step is a little different. 43, 42. To secure myself some monies. So now I'm pretty much risk free on that. I'm risk free on this. If it turns around and skyrockets to the moon, so be it, right? So there's a reason why I didn't pull it down all the way to 4340 yet, right? And it's going to breathe up to that view app. I just need to see it hold that as a resistance before I decide to do that if it doesn't hold it I, i'm not ahead if it skies and it breaks me out breaks break even because i did a good job of managing that position but right now i don't see why it would price action is pretty pretty steady down <laughs> i'm trying to just manage this best i can with the targets that i have right If it can hold this as resistance, um, I'm going to show you the NASDAQ because I'm saying it out loud and you're not really seeing it. We are talking about it breaking through this point here. Boom. It shot down. The VWAP currently, I don't have it on this one, but it's, on the, it's up at 1840 up here. So it broke. It used it as support, used it as support, and then it used it as resistance on the five minute. Look at these. Look at the volume on this. Big volume candle, big red candles. This is going to push down, right? I didn't take the NASDAQ trade. Could have. But on this account, I don't have enough cashish to run multiple positions. And why ruin it, you know? I'm going to set the daily target. Um, like I said, if it holds below this, 43.37 on this candle, we got three minutes left on this candle, to be honest. I'm gonna, if it really pushes hard, like to that previous day close, that 43.30 right now on this candle, I'm gonna, I'll move it to 43.40, but I don't mind to do that yet. 43.40, I do on top step though. I secured a thousand dollars on top step, so I'm not so mad about that. Like I said, the money management is slightly different between my personal account and Top Step. Um, I could let this breathe a little bit more. I don't have a target goal dollar amount that I need to hit to get funded. <laughs> I'm already funded. I put my money in here. Um, so I can manage this position a little more loosely to try and catch more of a move. Not to say that the Top Step is too tight. I'm kind of managing it how I did here, you know, if I want this to hold below the VWAP. I have my stops just at 4340, just above the VWAP. 434025. Yeah. Um, so um, the only reason this is really kind of hitting a, a, a snag here is because of that NASDAQ is at a resistance level, uh, a supply zone, it seems. Um, and it's kind of having a little bit of a bounce. And I think the S&Ps are kind of following that little bounce, but also, we have this support here, this little whip piece, which means there's some orders down here at 4336. So if it clears that level, then we will see. See, so we, we are using this now as resistance. 
I didn't get that hole below that level, so I don't want to move the stop yet because you don't really know for sure that it's gonna just be a bounce. So the the real the real test here is will the VWAP stay as resistance? Oh, and then also will uh, this forty three thirty seven level hold as support? So whichever way it decides to break. Then we have an idea of what we want to do with the trade, right? Um, for me, I do think if it breaks above this VWAP here, we have rooms of 43.41 as resistance again. Um, yeah, that's why I haven't moved my stop so tight with it. Um, I, I, So, stop filled. There we go. I got stopped out on the top step up a thousand. And it, there it goes. To, it's breaking above it. If it breaks down below it again, I would probably take a short again in the top step. And there we go. Keep it super tight. Trying to catch another move on it. I know two orders, not so great, but I'm not so concerned. If I can catch a little more resistance on it. 156, As long as it doesn't hold them out here. trying to like I said 4341 decent resistance level so now that you have an idea of how I manage trades I mean I will let this run a little bit more just so you can see that's just my thought process how the morning opens how I like to take trades off the open if I do um, I still see that this has a downside pressure to it I think right now this is just some profit taking for some people and and just resistance at that at that forty three thirty six level. So if it breaks through down, we have that previous day close as a target overnight low. I think markets are still confused as far as what's going to happen. They're still super optimistic, it seems. <laughs> But right now it's just we're at a level where it's it's breathing. Mm -hmm. Gold is exactly what I thought was gonna happen on gold here, so I'll show you. Gold. I kind of expected to well, you can see it on the five minute a little bit clearer. The Thirty minute, obviously you see the big red candle, but look at that. Got into this zone here this if i drew a little rectangle it rejected that rectangle that zone and right back down to below but it rejected the vwap so i mean you could possibly push back up to 1806 again pull back over all you're doing is checking levels and trying to catch small moves out of this these big players 43 30 41 hopefully it holds The worst thing that happens to me is I get broken even for $37. <laughs> I moved it just below the break even because I don't want to lose my commissions. Forty-three, forty-three. is where the selling started. It's kind of a good balance right now. Pretty good balance. So you just couldn't hold below that VWAP. So if you play this a little differently, hindsight's 2020, right? This still could easily roll over and be 
a great trade, right? But if you're looking to catch a small part of a bigger move, right? We had a great entry. We did good. I could have been an even better entry, you know, but we waited until it got up higher. But that's not really super easy to do. So we got a pretty good entry, broke down below the overnight high, and took it straight to the bottom of this support level. This is stronger than it appeared to be, right? But I did think it was a pretty strong level. I still think it will get broken. If you want to let it breathe a little more, you let it breathe a little more. You don't move your stops. But I had a plan. I stuck to my plan. Right? So if you get stopped out, you get stopped out. But if you wanted, to, like I said, if you wanted to do this in a way where you're just trying to catch this move, right? Catch it from the high and you sell it down to this level because it's a pretty strong level, right? There's so many, so many orders here. I'm just trying to catch a little bit more of the move. A lot of times it likes to keep that close and take it back because there's a lot of empty orders sitting there. So. I'm going to go to, there it goes. It's going to run up again probably now. That was a pretty good um, pretty good level there to take it to. If I do get stopped out, I'm going to look for another entry, but I'll, I'll stop the video just so you could see how I managed it, right? Um, if I did take it out of 4340, but it took the half, half of what I expect on the day. There's a reason why I do things on top step, right? It's rejecting pretty good now in the five minute. There we go. Sometimes you just need to have patience. I'm very surprised. The only reason I see that it's strong is because some of these uh, tech sectors. I'm not mad about it. Dropbox up pretty good. CRM. Where's CRM at? Here is a two fifty four. I need that shit to jump. Here on to two sixty by August. Square is still looking pretty strong. I should have held on to that a little bit longer, but I caught a couple hundred bucks out of it. And look at Starbucks doing pretty good. I was trying to get in yesterday at one fourteen, and I did not fill, so I didn't take. It. It's all right. I'll allow it. These are gonna flip. These are start gonna start moving pretty good soon. Netflix, I'm gonna be happy with especially if there's some more lockdowns places. People are gonna just start binge watching more movies and shit. They're gonna start making more and more and more and more money. Um I'll show you what I'm looking at on Netflix. I'm looking for it to get to these highs, 650. If we we gapped lower, we filled the gap now, and then if we break above 550, we're looking to shoot 650 plus. It's been in this range in this channel. We're looking to get up there. That's by next year, though. Oh, dun, dun, dun. It's holding that level there. I'm going to put another sell order down below 4341 on the top step because I want to just catch one more push down. So stop.
I just don't want to click it because I think uh, I forgot how exactly it works on there with the clicks. I'm just going to sell it at the market when it gets there. So now here's the deal. When we manage this this way, right? I put my stop in a good spot. Didn't quite get hit yet. Um, if it doesn't get hit, then how are we going to manage this? Push down below 43.40 again, and we push to the low again. Now we're going to stop. Now we're going to trail those stops, right? Because the chances of it coming back up again are less likely. And if it does, it's going to be a stronger move. So we're going to look to get that short. Follow it more and more down. All right, I'm going to sell that real quick. Catch a quick move on it. Order filled. I want it to catch down. One more time, push down for me. Push down below this VWAP. Then we're going to start trailing the stop and good to go for the day. 4340, tickling it. Tickling it. Just wants to use it as support right now. NASDAQ sitting right on its VWAP. Dirty, dirty VWAP. Here we go. Pushing below 4339. So now look at that. Boom. Less likely to come up strong. I don't care at this point. I'm. And secure a hundred dollars on this move. All right, fuck it. <clears throat> Why did that do that? There we go. Secure myself a hundred bucks on the day. Not a bad day. If it's gonna give me a hundred dollars in under an hour, I will take it. I just need that to hold below the VWAP. Push down below again one more time. And we will see what's going to happen. I have my, I sold again on the um, top step because I, I saw some of this negative pressure. And we're now below the VWAP again. So we're going to. I'm gonna fucking tighten this shit up. Three, three, four, one, eight, five. Three, three, um, wow, well, that rejected hard. Come on. Sometimes you gotta coach it. Sometimes you wanna see it go down, go down. Go ahead. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. That stupid view app really acting as support. Why is it there? Oh yeah, that's that's right. So strong, heavy web. Job openings. Oh, fun. Um, probably shouldn't be trading that one. Today's Wednesday. I thought it was tough. Thursday was the job point. Whatever. Coffee. Hold that forty three forty. See, these weren't just like numbers I picked out of thin air, right? So you heard it before all of this happened, so it's not like I'm a 
making shit up after the fact, right? So it's good that you were able to see what I did, why I did it, and how you can duplicate similar results if you're a patient and don't get scared. Fear and greed. This is a long video, but I'm happy that you're able to see what I'm doing. I'm going to pretty much shut it down. Um, I'll post the results later. But as you can see, worst case scenario for me right now is $137.50 positive. I don't believe I will be looking to enter much more on the day, especially if this does roll over. That's it. One trade and done. Um, so like it seems to be doing currently, it's holding below that VWAP. So I'm now going to start to trail it to $200 right above the VWAP because nobody got time for this. All right, I'll post the results. Peace.